Coming up April 25th through 28th, it is the 5th Annual Asbury Park Music and Film Festival. And if you've ever had a chance to go to this event in the past, you know just what an incredible time it is because it is a festival that really melds together two things that make Asbury Park uh, so special. Of course, the incredible music history that uh, the city of Asbury Park has. And then when you include this film festival where there's a lot of times it's original content that talks about Jersey and the music history and and so many different things uh, in our history and all kind of comes together, uh, all to benefit underserved children in the city of Asbury Park. I'm telling you, it is one of my favorite destinations to go to uh, in the month of April. And there's some big things that are happening this time around. And here to talk about that is a special guest I have back with me inside the Jersey Central Studios today. He is a member of the festival's board of advisors, and he's also the director of a film that was shown a couple years ago, but this is going to be a, a different version of the film with some, it was an early cut that we saw a couple years ago, and there's going to be a lot of never-before-seen footage this time around uh, with the film Asbury Park, Riot, Redemption, and Rock and Roll. And it's great to welcome uh, the director, Tom Jones, uh, back to the WCTC studios this morning. Is it time for the festival already, Tom? Time goes so fast, doesn't it? It flies. It feels like I was <laughs> here yesterday and it was it was a couple years ago actually so yeah yeah well great to have you back and uh, i was actually there that night uh with, with the third uh, annual festival when you showed this film right. i was so captivated by it number one because i learned so much as a little kid growing up in jersey 1970 i was two i had no idea about the history of asbury park and uh you know it was sort of like the go between between ocean grove and long branch where you right. kind of got the best of both worlds uh but this uh, cut that you're going to be showing this time around this is some footage that we didn't see a couple years ago yeah well well, the the night you were in Asbury Park was the uh, an early cut of the film, um, and we had a great night that night. It uh, turned out to kind of be a, a legendary time. Uh, uh, Bruce Springsteen came to see the film as a surprise, and we had a great concert afterwards. It was headlined by Little Steven and yeah. the Disciples of Soul, and Sasa Johnny, and Bruce sat in, and we had um, kids from Asbury Park, eleven year olds, who were just fantastic, just like lights out, fantastic, and they all played together with the veterans of the upstage. Of kind of a infamous club uh, in Asbury Park from the late '60s that, that is one of the centerpieces of the film, and it was just a great night. So we we took um, an interview from Bruce, an interview from Max, and and that concert footage, and it's really about a, a 50% different movie. Wow. Okay. And, and now it's it's getting a, a sneak peek uh, Sunday, uh, April 28th, and at the festival, and then it goes out worldwide on May 22nd to about. 1400 theaters oh, in congratulations. 28 countries that's so, wonderful so we're super excited yeah that's really great news but uh, to see this festival and I talked to people that were kind of familiar with the music scene and when I would mention the upstage to them I get this look like oh the upstage that's where the party was after the party that's kind of the reputation that, that the upstage had that these guys were playing Asbury that's where they would go and really kind of have some fun with the music and there were no rules it was just like let's just play until the sun comes up and just have fun right it was fantastic at that time there, there were 73 73- music venues in Asbury Park, wow. a town one square mile. But most of them on the east on the east side towards the, the touristy side of town uh, were top 40 kind of jukebox places. And after they closed, all the best musicians would go to the upstage and play their original music. And if there was a rule, um, it was that you had to play your own stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, so they really loved it, and it was open from 2 to 5. They kind of had that window, and um, everyone played their paying gig, go over the upstage play there, go home, sleep, and get up and do it again. And just to see footage of, you know, uh, Bruce before he was Bruce, you know, and see him kind of perfecting and honing his craft, and, and Southside Johnny and all these guys that came out of Asbury, that, and, and that little Steven, of course, now in the New Jersey Hall of Fame, and to see these guys in their early stages of their career just doing it because they loved it so much, and they, they had such passion and energy for it. And I think for somebody who sees the film, you get kind of caught up in that, because I know I did a couple years ago. I said, this is great. I said, not only is this a, a, a story that is told magnificently, Magnificently, this is part of our history and our culture. I'm so proud of this. It was just such a great experience that I can't wait to go back and and see it again in a couple of weeks. This oh, is going to be great. Thank you so much. And it was so much. I can't tell you how much fun it was to go up there it, because as report kind of missed several decades. That the upstage was a time capsule. When we went up to shoot, it was still 1970. I went up the <laughs> stairs. It's a, a, the third floor above a Tom McCann shoe store. The stage was still there. Wow. The paint was still on the walls gouged into the wall in the men's room and said, steel mill rules. <laughs> and, you know, it, it really it was 1970. So when the first guys went back, uh, Vinny Lopez and Joe Patillo and, and a great group of guys to play a concert, it was, it literally was 1970. And then we, we conducted a lot of the interviews, um, Stephen and, and 
Bruce got to go upstairs and, and walk around. Oh wow! Bruce was literally the last last man to leave the building. Um, the the owners very kindly held the demo to get finished the interviews. So it was. Um, you know, it was extraordinary. It was, it was really, really great. Excellent stuff. And, of course, uh, this is going to be one of the featured events at the upcoming 5th Annual Asbury Park Music and Film Festival, which does begin uh, on April 25th at uh, so many great venues uh, across Asbury Park. You can get all the information and tickets also available at apmff.org, as in Asbury Park Music Film Festival, apmff.org. And uh, this cut of the film of Asbury Park, Riot Redemption and Rock and Roll, is just one of the featured events. And this is going to be... Uh, this is the Sunday night sort of like uh, the centerpiece of, for that for that yes. day, right? Yeah, Sunday three thirty. But boy, there's, there's so much great stuff. I mean, there really you know, is. Yeah, we're going to go through a bunch of the other great. things that are coming up here soon. But uh, you definitely want to be in town for that, and just to see how this music and film kind of come together, and really just everywhere throughout Asbury Park, it's just such a great thing to be a part of. Tom Jones, my special in studio guest, who was uh, a member of the uh, board of advisors of the Asbury Park Music and Film Festival, and also the director of the film called Asbury Park Riot Redemption and Rock and Roll. And if you were like me and you saw it uh, sold out a couple years ago and uh, what a film that was and of course the great concert that happened afterwards that was a surprise for you too tom when sure uh, was, yeah. mr springsteen came by you had no idea how was. exciting that was just great and and we were lucky because we, we were shooting we were interested um in the kids uh from lake house so we were there shooting it um so we just got lucky. But it, but it was a great show, and it was a, a, a really great treat. Yeah, so that's one of the many highlights and one of the many featured events. Uh, that that's uh, And Sunday afternoon is when that's going to be screened, Tom? Sunday afternoon at 3.30. All right, awesome. Uh, some of the other highlights, uh, Saturday, April 27th, the Bruce Springsteen Archives. Uh, that's going to draw a sizable crowd, I think. It's right? going to be fantastic. It's hosted by Tom Zimney, who's, who's uh, Bruce's guy. And he's got all kinds of stuff that's never been seen before, and it's really going to be uh Something to see. That's really going to be awesome. Uh, also, uh, Oscar Award winner uh, Peter Farrelly, uh, you, you just recently won an Oscar, right, with Green Book, right? Fantastic movie, right? Green uh, yeah, Book, yeah, spectacular. He's going to be in town. There's a, another film that's uh, involving uh, him and the, and the brothers that's going to be there on the 28th? Uh, it's a tribute. It's a tribute to the Farrelly brothers. They're, they're getting um, an award that we started last year uh, with Danny DeVito. Okay. So it's a, um, a look back, a, a retrospective of their career. That's nice. And that's at the Stone Pony. Okay, wow, that's cool. Uh, also, uh, two-time Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee David Crosby, uh, along with Cameron Crowe, there's going to be a Q&A, and this is another New Jersey premiere, a film called David Crosby, Remember My Name, and it's a documentary about him, and he's going to be there too? He's going to be there, oh, Cameron Crowe's there, so, you know, wow. terrific. And Cameron Crowe has a whole music background, as, as, as you know, almost famous, so it's perfect for Asbury Park and perfect for the festival. Getting chills. This just gets better and better. How about uh, Jacob Dylan uh, is going to be there too? Uh, playing some music, performing the music of the Birds, the Beach Boys, Mamas and Papas. Uh, that's following the New Jersey premiere of uh, film Echo in the Canyon. That will be shown on Thursday, April 25th. Uh, that's at the Paramount. Um, and just uh, so many other things. Uh, a story of, this is a history of Cream Magazine. I used to read that when I that's was a right. kid. That's right, Cream. Yeah, i look um, back at that. It's pretty cool. And there's, you know, great music. There's, there's good movies. There's uh, uh, jams at the Stone Pony and the Wonder Bar. Oh, man. So we think you should just come down. It's only a half hour from Central Jersey, and, and bring your sleeping bag and uh, and uh, I was you know, spend say, the weekend. I was going to say, I'd be afraid of sleeping, of missing something here. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen next. Yeah, right? all, all kinds of great stuff. Uh, right? This is going to be just four remarkable days uh, beginning April 25th. Again, it's the 5th Annual Asbury Park Music and Film Festival. Uh, tickets and information at apmff.org. And, uh, and Tom, one of the really great things about this is uh, the, the, who this benefits. And this is to help out kids in Asbury Park and, and music programs and just make in Asbury Park a better place. Yeah, music's always been Asbury Park's thing, and it's what's kept it alive through the dark years, and it's what's brought it back to this great uh, early Renaissance period. And uh, the festival is set up to benefit programs in Asbury Park that reach out to kids who otherwise wouldn't get music. And we have a great beat bus that goes around. Um, it's a, a rolling studio. There are programs in the schools, in the Boys and Girls Club, uh, there's a great place called Lake House Studios that kind of leads the way. Mm -hmm. So super proud of that. Um, the the profits from the film, the film we made, the film's kind of like a, a product of the festival. Um, all the profits are going to go to support those programs. And what Stephen Van Zandt's doing, he has a fantastic C3 uh, that works on music education for kids. Wow. And we're hoping to create a new program that will pilot in Asbury Park and then take out uh, globally. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we owe a lot of... Uh, debt to 
uh, the sponsors of First Atlantic Credit Union, yeah, sure. uh, RWJ Barnabas Health, and, and Nasby Park Press. Nice. Because without that, wouldn't happen. And for my film, uh, Jersey Mike's did, did us a huge favor <laughs> in kind of absorbing the risk for us. So, oh, wow. Uh, you know, big thank yous to those guys. It's a, a big commitment, um, and they really do it to help the kids of Asbury Park. And we hope now we're going to be able to step it out and help kids in the rest of the country and in the rest of the world. Yeah, definitely. And uh, hopefully you'll have a chance to see this uh, on Sunday, April 28th. Uh, I saw, like I said, uh, a cut of it from a couple years ago. To, but to be able to see this again uh, on the 28th here, this uh, Asbury Park Riot Redemption and Rock and Roll, when we get to that May 22nd, the, the charitable and the, and the giving continues for this movie, right? Yeah, yeah. So hopefully we'll fill up these 1,400 theaters and uh, generate a lot of money that we can take care of the stuff in Asbury Park and then step it out. Yeah. So, you know, super excited about that. Do you find time to go check out some stuff and have some fun, Tom? This has to be kind of fun for you, too, or else why do it? You wouldn't do it if it wasn't a good time, right? It's, it's great. I love coming back. I, I grew up around here. I, I live in California, but I get to come back every year, and I'll catch all the stuff you mentioned. Uh, the, um, Echo in the Canyon is supposed to be a fantastic movie. It's a lot like Asbury Park. It's like Laurel Canyon was the Asbury Park of L.A. Is that right? Everyone lived on the same block, and, it, and it's a it's supposed to be an extraordinary movie. I'm really looking forward to it. It's kind of like an incubator for great songwriters and, and storytellers who were just kind of getting going with their craft, much ha- like Asbury, yeah. right? And there's something about that. The, the place is important, and, and proximity is important, and people learn from each other. And it, it was fascinating watching that happen. People relive that in our film. And I think it's going to be like that in the Echo in the Canyon film. Excellent. And the Crosby thing is supposed to be fantastic. Uh, yeah, you know, when David Crosby comes to town, you know, for him to, 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 to actually come there and be here and be a part of this and take part in a Q&A, uh, that's a pretty special thing, too. I'm looking forward to Cameron Crowe. You know, yeah, it's right. Extraordinary. So great director, but also just a fascinating guy. You know, was a, a kid reporter for Rolling Stone. And, that's right. You know, he'll, he'll be a really, really <laughs> He's interesting. He's got a great story, yeah. too. That's right. But again, for tickets and information for anything that is happening over the days of the festival, which again is April 25th through 28th, APMFF.org. And again, uh, the, it benefits underser- underserved children in Asbury Park uh, and uh, provides music, education, instruments, and social connection opportunities uh, for some young people that otherwise would not have these opportunities. So it really comes back, uh, it has a wonderful time, of course. Everybody has a great time, but it's an important mission, and it really helps out uh, some people there, too. So, again, APMFF.org, and uh, get your tickets, and uh, we will see you in Asbury Park for the 5th Annual Asbury Park Music and Film Festival, uh, which is coming up again beginning on April 25th. Uh, a website or some social media, anything, Tom, where people can just kind of get a little little taste of, uh, of the Riot Redemption and Rock and Roll? Yeah, there's a there's a Facebook page. Uh, there's a, a th- um, you go to apmff.org. Uh, you can see the trailer. The trailer's on USA Today. Rolling Stone did a nice article. So oh, we've nice. been getting, you know, some nice, some nice stuff. All right. Um, cool. If you want to get tickets for the 22nd, you go to Asbury Park Movie Tickets. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Okay. All right. And that's uh, that's the larger sort of release of the yeah, film. Yeah. So. But great stuff. Well, congratulations again, thank Tom, you. and thank you for coming in. A guy all the way from California to say hello to me. I'm very flattered. So, But uh, thank you for that. Good luck with everything, and I'll definitely uh, catch up to you in Asbury Park uh, beginning next week sometime. All right, again, thanks so much for coming by. Thank you.